Let's talk about what you will need to have ready in order to perform a successful velocity to 3VR integration. First, make sure demand video recording is enabled on your 3VR server. Next, make sure that both your velocity and 3VR systems are pointed towards valid NTP servers. Third, make sure you have credentials for both the velocity and 3VR systems. And finally, make sure that the networks that Velocity and Vision Point are on can see each other. Integrating Velocity into 3VR is very simple and takes just a few steps. Start by opening Velocity. Next, go to the Administration tab. Once there, go to the Interfaces Configuration menu, and then to the Video Integration submenu. On the right pane, double-click the Add New DVR NVR. This will open a dialog box which you need to fill out all of the fields for. The first one is what you will name the 3VR appliance that you are integrating to. We'll call it 3VR. You can leave the description blank, but please make sure the vendor shows 3VR. For the time zone, make sure you select the time zone of the 3VR appliance, otherwise the integration will not work correctly. After this, enter the IP address of the 3VR appliance. Next, enter the username, password, and port of the 3VR appliance. In this exercise, we'll use 8080, but we suggest you use a port that is more secure, like 443. Once this is done, hit the Test Connection button in the bottom right to make sure you have a valid connection with the 3VR appliance. Hit OK, and then hit OK again to close the configuration dialog box. In your video integration menu, you will now see the 3VR appliance you just connected to, and clicking upon that will give you all of the cameras that are available on that 3VR appliance. That's it.